How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about BBIG, which was up just over 6.5% on the day. Keep in mind, the market was falling off a cliff, but you know what? BBIG had some other plans. I'll talk about it further in this video. I won't be wasting any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in a bearish case scenario and as well as in a bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for BBIG. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $3.05, being up 6.64%. On the low, it tested $2.94. And then on the high, testing $3.42. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 56.719 million shares. And the average volume over 10 trading days is at 40.695 million shares. So we finally had some above average volume on the day and we saw a lot of strength in BBIG stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is the daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is at 58.21. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we are below the 200 day and we are above the 21 day EMA, the 50 day, and as well as the 100 day. And you can see that we had a strong gap up and BVIG saw a high of $3.42. This has been a previous area of resistance, so it followed the technicals to a T. I wanted to see it get above 350 to see if we can make that further move, but of course we couldn't get above it, but a great move nonetheless. Now, as far as support, we held up around $2.94. So going into tomorrow, there is a chance where we might end up filling in this gap to the downside. So that is one thing that you want to be aware of, which is right around the 100 day moving average, which we could say is around 282. So that is something you're going to want to keep a very close eye on. Another thing is if we can go into the open and hold around 282, it could get very interesting because then BBIG can make another test to see if you can get back above $3. But still a solid performance considering how shaky the markets were and we had a strong sell-off as well. So let's see if the volume continues to pick up going into tomorrow because if it does, I feel this buying pressure could give us a chance to actually test these highs again. Now let's move on to the short interest information. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for BBIG. So the off-exchange short volume ratio is at 35.19%. And then for the off exchange short volume, it is just over 3.21 million shares. Scrolling down on the page, the short shares availability is at 7,000, updated 15 minutes ago. And then for the short borrow fee rate, it is at 66.69%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume, we can see for the close of the 16th, it was at 55.35. And then for the close of the 17th, being at 35.19. So one thing that is clear taking in the short interest percentage of the float being at 15.25%, BBIG does have short squeeze potential. Now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for BBIG. So we see on the inflow, it was at 36.40 million. And then on the outflow is at 39.88 million. So we actually had an outflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large, it was 0 0.20. On the medium, it was 26.96 million. And then on the small, it was 9.24 million. Taking a look at the outflow side, we had 0 0.62. On the medium, we had 29.27. And then on the small, we had 9.99 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, May the 18th, we had that negative outflow of 0 0.42 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then taking a look at the large which represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. 
And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 30.33%. No surprises, we know that BBIG is a volatile stock. Plus on top of that, with the volatility we had inside of these markets, like I said previously, BBIG did fairly well. We also have to understand the record date. You know what, I'll talk about it further inside of the final thoughts, so let's get into it right now. So for my final thoughts for BBIG, when it comes to the price action, so we saw a high of the day at $3.40. $0.42. And if you guys remember, inside of the technicals, this is a consistent area where BBIG has resistance. We've seen this happen time and time again. And that's why I was looking for BBIG to get above $3.50 so we can get to that 200-day moving average, which is right around $3.90. I feel we would have been able to achieve that if we had a stronger market, but we didn't. But I know many of you were able to actually take some profits and make some bank. So congratulations to all of you. So going into tomorrow, what do we want to see? Today, we ended up having some above average volume. That's exactly what we were looking for. And we want to see this volume actually continue. Because if it's able to continue, then I'm looking for us to actually retest the highs and see if we could push up further. But here's the thing. We know that today, the 18th, was the record day. If you want to get that special dividend, which is the Cryptide shares, you had to be a BBIG shareholder today. So we know there is a strong possibility we will have some more volatility going into Thursday and as well as going into Friday. So we do have a gap that needs to be filled since we did have a pretty strong gap up, and it is around $2.87. So upon filling in this gap, if we could actually use that as support, then I'm looking for BBIG. BBIG to get back to the $3 range. I feel that wouldn't be too much to ask, but if it does break through that level, we've spoken about this many times already, then we could have BBIG possibly pulling back to around 250. So again, add that to your homework. If you're a trader, now you have some sort of an idea how to take advantage on the upside and as well as for the downside. Also, we went on Fintel taking a look at the recent short interest information. BBIG does continue to have short squeeze potential. Plus on top of that, taking a look at those short borrow fees they're continuing to climb. So that's why I'm saying there still could be a lot more room for this play to move. But the most important thing is, is making sure that you know those support, know those resistance levels, and also keep an eye on the overall market. If we continue to have some selling pressure, then there is a strong possibility that BBIG can continue to sell off. Because when we took a look at that order flow, we could see there was a good amount of selling on the retail side. But at the same time, we did have some buying. But as far as demand is concerned and knowing that this is a speculative play. Just know that you're taking on a lot of risk if you're going to be trading it. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter as long as you have a game plan and you know what your intentions are before you push the buy button and of course, before you push that sell button. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how the stock performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.